Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We reflect on the 19th Sunday in the ordinary time. Good servants always work hard in order not only to please and give honor to the Master, but also to receive great rewards from the Master. So how can we become good servants of the Lord God? From the first reading, we are being told by the Book of Wisdom that God reveals before Passover His mind, His plan of salvation. And then this first reading mentions about the divine offering, divine institution, and that there is sacrifice. What is being spoken of here is about the servant of Yahweh, the, about the servant of God, the Messiah, who will do the sacrificial offering, who will himself as the servant become the offering and in that offering make the divine institution that will give salvation to humanity, humanity united, reconciled to God. This theme about the servant is in the gospel. A good servant who is always prepared, who always will be doing things so that when the master comes, everything is ready for the master. A good servant who also is very responsible for the well-being of, of other servants in the household of the master. And most importantly, a good servant is not only concerned of earthly treasures, but rather of divine treasures, of those tre treasures that neither rust nor moth can destroy, heavenly treasure. This is good servant. And that is why we ought always to look at Jesus, fix our life in order to be coherent with the life of Jesus. That means a faith will live. When we go to the second reading, speaking of faith, the ancestors, the patriarchs, especially of Abraham, he obeyed God. He believed and trusted in God's will because indeed he knew that by believing, he can already see what he is hoping for. He can already touch what is even unseen. Faith. When we have this faith and let this faith drive us in our daily life, our life changes. Our personality changes. And we are no longer who we are. We become a faithful and good servant of the Lord. That is why for this 19th Sunday in the ordinary time, I want us to consider two things in order to really consider and become good and faithful servants of the Lord. First and foremost is this, never take it for granted that there is a connection between our life now and the life of heaven. There is a connection. And the in-between is work to be done. Will live faith. Love in action. A servant that is always doing the work of the master. Our will coherent with the will of the master. The connection between practice and prayer. The connection between doctrine and deeds. The connection between worship and works. We cannot forget this and cannot take it for granted. Because compromising the relationship between our life now and the heavenly life. If we compromise that, then there will be disconnect. And when there is disconnect 
between our life now and the life of heaven, then there is no destiny. When there is disconnect between doctrine and deeds, then deeds will have no meaning. And doctrines will be brought to nothing. Believing and behavior. If there is disconnect, then believing will just be empty and hypocritical. Behaving without faith, then valueless. There is not, nothing beyond to really seek for and long for and hope for. Never take for granted that there is connection between our life now and the life of heaven. Good servants will always see to it that there is connection of what we do and who we are as Christians. The second thing I want us to consider, mentality. To make our mentality of faith become the backbone of our mentality as we live in this life. Many times it is the other way around. The mentality in this life, the mentality of this world, the mentality that we have becomes the backbone of our um, believing, of our being Christians. If that's the case many times, we make the mentalities around us become the uh, deciding factor whether we are going to do God's will or not. We are whether go we are going to follow the commandments or not. We are there, we are going to um, follow this moral principle or not. No, our mentality must be coherent with Christ mentality. That is by faith our responsibility. Our mentality in this life must always be a mentality that is already concerned with the life of heaven. Good servants, their mentality has a focus and direction. And that mentality is framed according to the mentality of their master. That is good servanthood. So also we are as Christians. And so in this 19th Sunday in the ordinary time, let us live our faith well. Let us prove that our love of God is truly seen in the ways that we are being good servants of the Lord. Our will consistent with God's will. Our life, action, behavior, words, dealings become a reflection of who we are as Christians, servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not done so, and share this video to others.